welcome back to my channel. It's Lily Galici. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I have a lot of requests to do shopping hauls, unboxings, and you know, I thought what better <laughs> to do my very first live unboxing than with an Hermes bag. So for those of you that don't know what Hermes is, it's just one of the luxury or couture purse bags. You have Chanel, you have Louis Vuitton. You know, in like the hierarchy of bags, Hermes is the creme de la creme. I am a huge Hermes fan personally. I think their bags are amazing. The problem is they're impossible to get. I'm sure many of you that may want one can't get one, just like I couldn't get one for a very long time. It's only been, I would say, three or four years now that I am actually able to get bags from Hermes. They are so crazy. It's so unfair. Even if you have the money, even if you want one, you go into the store and they're just all like, no, we don't have any. I think I wanted a Birkin for years and years and years before I actually got one. The way the store works is you have to build a history with them before they offer you their Birkins, their Kellys, their things like that, because they want the people that own their bags to be loyal Hermes followers, which is cool, I get it. I still think it's unfair. I think everybody should be able to get to have one, but that's the way it works. The world isn't fair. I didn't make the rules. Don't hate the player, hate the game. So, um, I got this little bag for myself for my birthday. My birthday was actually over two months ago. It was April 30th. With Hermes, you don't get what you want when you want it. Thank you, John, at the Rodeo Drive Hermes store for finally getting me the bag I've been lusting after forever. So this is the bag that anything you buy at Hermes will come in. This is their classic orange color. It's nothing special to be honest. It's just another paper bag with their logo. So this is what I got. Now, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is just yet. I want everybody to start guessing what you think it is. This is the receipt and we don't wanna see how much it was. All their bags come in boxes like this with the Hermes ribbon. So let's start taking them off. For those of you that are familiar with Hermes, their most exceptional bag is the Birkin, and their next most exceptional bag is the Kelly. Now this could be either one of those because of the size of the bag. Look how delicately they wrap it. So every bag you get comes in its own little dust bag. This is the Hermes dust bag, and it doesn't matter if you get a Birkin, if you get a Kelly, a Constance, any of their bags will come in the same color, same style dust bag. It just changes in size depending what you get. Now they all come with their own little like rain bag also. I've never actually used a rain bag. I've never even opened the rain bag. This is my first time. But I guess it's like a little raincoat for your purse in case of it's raining out and you don't Want to get it wet. I don't know. I just do away with these and don't use them because I live in sunny Los Angeles where it never rains. It's little, right? So you're like, I don't think it's a Birkin because Birkins are bigger. Kelly's are kind of bigger too, but I got myself with my own goddamn money. And let me just say this before I go there. I don't wanna read the, I can't believe you spent that much money on a purse. Why are you wasting your money on this? You should be helping people with that. Every dollar that I have, I earned for myself. So how I spend my money is my choice. And just because I buy expensive purses or shoes or whatever it means, doesn't mean that I don't help as well. You don't know what I do with my personal time. You don't know what I do with my personal life. And you don't know what I do with my money. Nobody's handed me anything in life. I work for everything that I have, so I'm gonna spend it on what makes me happy. And brown boxes make me happy, so so be it. If you have a problem with that, then move on. This channel is not for you. Back to our unboxing. <sighs> they just wrap it in so many layers. I got myself. Ready? Oh, she's so pretty. It is a Birkin. So this is a Birkin 25, and all 25 refers to is the size of the bag. The average Birkin that you'll see is actually a 35, so it's much larger. I don't own any 25s. 25s are extremely rare to come by. 
but I've always wanted one because it's not only a great day bag, it doubles as a clutch because it's small enough to be a night bag. Now this Birkin is something called Togo leather. Togo leather is super rare in Birkin 25s. Normally Birkin 25s are offered in Swift leather. Swift leather is more delicate, which means it makes it more vulnerable to scratches and marks. Togo, on the other hand, which is this one, is much more resilient to prevent any kind of scratching and it also retains its shape better. So I'm sure you guys have all seen those Birkins that are like slouching and falling over, they won't even stand up. That's what happens to Swift leather over time because it's so delicate. So Togo is super desirable since it will hold its shape more. This one has gold hardware, which as you'll see here, it's all wrapped up. We're gonna have to take the plastic off. You can either get gold hardware or silver hardware. I am a gold girl. I'm Persian, I'm gaudy, I'm loud, so I love gold. Now black is a super hard to get and super rare color in the Birkins because Hermes usually makes bold colors. Black and gold? is the rarest combination to get. Usually if you want a black and gold, you'll have to buy it from a reseller or secondhand. To get one new at the store is extremely, extremely difficult, so I am so grateful to have gotten this. Now that you know all the details about the Birkin, let's unwrap her. So, all Birkins come with this little protector shield, which you just take right off and let her breathe. Oh, she's just getting prettier by the second. They also come stuffed with this air stuff, which I usually throw out. I actually buy bag fillers that go inside the bag. So this is what the inside of the bag looks like. It's, you know, Nothing super special going on in there. There is a pocket and a zipper for you to put things, but all Birkins come with this inside. This little case houses the lock. Now, you don't have to use the lock. What most girls do with the lock is they will just string it across the front of their bag just like that. How cute is that? John actually does mine for me, and I don't know how he does it because this is not right. So John, I'll be bringing it to you to do. But this is the Birkin. Um, I like to stretch mine out a little bit so that it has a little bit more shape to it like that versus super structured. But if you wanna wear it super tight, you can also do that. If you wanna close it all up, which I never do, you put it back just the way that it came and you zipper it up and you close it. But the cool girl way to wear it is with that flapped in, these flapped out, and just like that. So here you have it, my birthday gift to myself for a very, very hard year of work is a Birkin 25, super cute, super fun, and let's see how it looks with the full look. So this is the bag with its full look. How cute is that? It's little, but it's not too little. I could wear this with a little dress and stilettos. I could wear it with this outfit. I could wear it with jeans. I fucking love it! Here you have it, our live unboxing of my new Hermes Birkin. And for those of you that guessed it right, congratulations, because I would have never guessed this one. I would have never thought I would own one this little. I love it, I can't wait to wear it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope every single one of you watching gets one of these yourself one day.